Good morning, YouTube. I am on my way to my first drop. Um, I'd just like to thank everyone for their support regarding the last video I did about whether you should be allowed to film while you're driving. And the other I am in response was just to carry on really because there's no law against it and as long as I feel it's not distracting me or whatever then carry on so that's what I'm doing I've got let me work it out five five drops to do today and then a collection so six things to do and then I'm going back to the factory to see what's next and I'd just like to Welcome all my new subscribers as well. There's just so many of you are joining me now on this channel, so I thank you for that. I also want to talk about, um, in the last video, my fifth gear keeps crunching. And I know a lot of you are telling me that there's something wrong with my driving or whatever. Or is fifth gear just knackered? Well, yes it is. Fifth gear is knackered. Um, the mechanic said that there's something gone. Now I'm not a, I'm not mechanically minded in that sense. There's something gone um, that makes fifth gear crunch. And the only way to fix it, because they've already had this in and had a look at it, the only way to fix it is with a new gearbox. And they're not going to put a new gearbox in there because the lorry's okay, like it's working. Here we go. Oh, see, it didn't crunch that time. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. And it has no change whether I hold the clutch down for longer, wait before changing longer. Uh, there's just nothing that I can do that helps. So, yeah, I apologise if the crunching in the last video annoyed you a little bit. It annoys me, but I think I've got a bit used to it now. I kind of, I don't notice it so much obviously you guys do anyway i'm gonna leave it there for now and i'll catch up with you a little bit later i forgot to mention about the gears so fifth gear always crunches when i'm going down the gears when i go from six to fifth it always crunches so i try and avoid it if i can when i'm going down the gears but it doesn't always crunch when i go up from the bottom box from fourth to the top box fifth it doesn't always crunch there some of you said well why don't I try and avoid it well to be able to avoid it I have to really rev the hell out of the lorry in fourth gear to get enough power behind me to go straight to six and I don't like doing that I don't like revving the hell out of it because I don't think it's good for the engine um, and also sixth gear it doesn't kind of pull you so much sometimes you put it straight into sixth gear from fourth and the lorry won't go particularly when i'm heavy i know when i filmed that video the last one i did i was quite heavy when i filmed that video so it just wasn't gonna work so yeah i do try and avoid it when i'm coming down the gears What's coming up the gears it's really difficult particularly if I have a heavy load I can't skip it because it's a magic gear it's the one that pulls me and gets me moving better anyway I'm gonna leave it there and I will catch you all a little bit later on in the day
Well, that's the first drop done. Uh, I also popped into the office this morning uh, to get a new defect book because I ran out of pages. And if you don't have a defect book that you have filled in every morning, I think if you get stopped, you can uh, be told off. So I got myself a new defect book and I filled that in. I just did a rough copy on a notepad this morning and then went straight to get a new book. So that should cover me now. I filled that in uh, with what I wrote this morning. And now we're just on the motorway, on the M6, going down to Spaghetti Junction for drop number two. Um, I've just delivered the first four rows of my lorry to the place where I've just been, so quite a lot of, of the stuff on here is gone now. There's a scales on my dashboard here, um, and it tells me that I am carrying seven and a half tons in my 26 ton wagon at the moment. So, yeah, not much weight on there at all. I'm going to this second drop to deliver one bin. They may have something for me to collect. I don't know. A lot of this job, well, this job that I'm on, is a guessing game. You don't know who's going to want to return things, who's not. So, what I've tried to do is I've tried to uh, make friends with my customers that I'm delivering to and if they have something that they want me to collect and I'm in the area they'll give me a call and say I have one pallet for you or something and also our main collection point the lovely gentleman there always sends me a message every morning when he sends his emails just to let me know how many bins I've got to collect so then I know how much space I need on the wagon before I get there because that's the last place that I call to before going back to the factory so yeah one bin to the next place and then I'm off to collect a pallet from in Birmingham as well in Lozelle's area I think it's called and then we'll go from there so catch up with you later
metallic collected that I needed to get from a lovely factory where they always let me make a cup of tea. I really like that factory. Whenever that's on the list for the morning, they're my favourite place to go. So that's another pallet collected from them. And then I've just dropped off a small little metal bin that I just... You didn't need the forklift for that, you just pick it up and, uh, and take it take it in, it was very lightweight. Uh, but they've put on three pallets for me so now I'm getting stressed because I know that I have 16 bins to collect from our collection point. Sound like I'm in the shop now, please go to a collection point. Uh, but I have 16 bins to collect from there at the time the message was sent this morning, so possibly more now. These bins are quite heavy, so I'm starting to get a bit stressed that I might not get all 16 on. I probably will in terms of space, but not in terms of the weight. And at the end of the day, it's my licence and I'm not losing it for anyone else, so if, if I can't take it because of the weight, then I'm not taking it. Uh, in case you're a new driver and you're wondering, I think I already mentioned it earlier, but on here I have the scales that tells me estimated how much I'm carrying. And I know that this is allowed to say 14, and then I'm full. So if this scales on here says more than 14, I can't take any more. That's what I've been told. Although it is a 26 ton wagon, with the weight of the trailer and the cab and everything else, I can take 14 in the back, um, as far as I'm aware. That's what I've been told. Um, if I didn't have these scales and I was driving a different wagon, in every bin or everything that they give me, there's paperwork that tells you the weight. So a bit of maths and you can work out how much, how much there is to go on and how much you've got left um, in terms of weight. So yeah, I'm off now to drop off one funny shaped bin really. But that's going to another place that I like to visit where they let me make a cup of tea if, I, uh, if I'm cold and I want to warm it up a bit they let me make a cup of tea there too. See, people say, you know, lorry driving's not a good job. I like it. If you make friends with the people in the factories, they really look after you because at the end of the day you're doing them a favour. You're either bringing them work or you're, you're delivering their work. So. They're happy if you ask to have some hot water, they don't mind you making a cup of tea or whatever. They're really nice. Um, so yeah, I'm just dropping a bin to him and then I will be off to my collection point where I'm hoping to use my chest cam if they will let me. I already have permission to film at this yard, but I'm going to ask if I can use the chest cam. So I think that's going to be a pretty cool angle for this video. Maybe use the head cam, either in this video or in one coming up soon, just so you can see the different angles really. And you can let me know what you like. And then whatever you like is what I'll use in the future videos really. Anyway, I'll leave it there for now. I'm on Soho Road. This road's a very busy one and you get people everywhere. They just cross over and don't go on the crossings and they're a bit mad on this Soho road. So are the cars. So I'm just going to let you go and I'll catch up with you a bit later.
I'll be back for that in a minute. <laughs> Only 3% of my YouTube viewers are female. Oh, really? So maybe if I put you on there, I'll get some female viewers. Yeah. i got to cover this because I'm not actually in poor boy Toyota. <laughs> <laughs> say it but you know the, the labels on the bins and yeah, stuff yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to blur them that's what they've asked oh. and the curtain oh, okay. so. right, yeah. where are you going to next then uh Tipton Tipton right, I'll have to cut that out oh. <laughs> 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 I'm not good at it. I'm not good at it. <laughs> but yeah other, it's other, good other, other steel manufacturers are about it <laughs> YouTube, you know the drill. It's break time. So let's put the tachograph on break. And hopefully, the chest cam that you just saw was in the right place and caught everything that I wanted it to. Um, I won't know really till later. I'm not going to bother playing it back now because obviously I have work to do. But when I look tonight on the computer, I'll see uh, if if the angles are good, and if not, then I know what to improve next time. Just cleaning my hands now with my wet wipe. And then I'll be on my way back to the factory, but first I have to deliver one pallet, which I will be doing after my break. Kick the seat back, you know, the routine from last video. But I've just been to the calf and I've ordered a medium breakfast and I didn't know what I was going to get so I thought that I would share my surprise with you. First of all I have two toast on the top of the uh, container which whoa oh look at this I even get a plastic knife and fork too and I get Sausage, bacon, hash brown, and beans in the container. Amazing. I'm hungry today, if you couldn't tell. So, I will catch up with you a little bit later. YouTube, how's it going? I have dropped off the pallet that I mentioned earlier and also collected a pallet, so that's a first one. I'm now on my way back to the factory to see what I'll be collecting for the second run. Uh, I think I might be going to Telford, but I'm not sure. We'll see when we get back. It seems that from my last HGV driving video, you guys liked the idea of a topic uh, to talk about because those of you that are observant will see that we're on the same road that we were on last time I was talking about a topic. Um, like I said, it, it's going to be the same kinds of routes for a while. And there, 
Jesus. A couple of people that left me hashtags, topics, um, and I've decided that I want the hashtag for these videos to be hashtag trucker talk. That's what I want the hashtag to be. So if you have an idea of a, a topic that you would like me to discuss in the video and then we can all talk about it in the comments, the hashtag is going to be hashtag trucker talk. No spaces or anything, just one word. Um, and that's what we're going to use. So if you have a topic for the next video, that's what I want you to put in your comment if you don't mind so I can find it easy because I mentioned before I don't always see all of your comments if I haven't responded to you then I haven't seen it because I either click a love heart or reply to all of you so yeah anyway trucker Andy from Instagram left me a comment if you're not following trucker Andy on Instagram by the way why not he seems like a lovely person who gave me a little shout out on YouTube, uh, on, on not on YouTube, on Instagram I mean, to say that I'm a good person to follow, so thank you to you. If you aren't following him then I, I think you should check him out over on Instagram. Uh, anyway, he left me a question or a topic to talk about that I keep getting over and over and over again, and it's, am I ever going to progress to class one and do long distance work? So I thought, well, I keep getting the same question, so that's a good topic to discuss in this video. Uh, the answer is yes, probably. So I would like to have my YouTube channel follow me from teacher who was fed up with her job to class one lorry driver. So, so far you, you've followed me through my theory and everything to class two and first job and first week and everything. I'd like you to follow me to class one, really. And of course, I'm going to vlog about it if I do it. Well, when I do it, because I, I think I, I would like to do it. But at the moment, I'm happy with this job and I just want to get some experience, really. I mean, I've only been in it, what? This is week number nine that I've been driving. So I want to get some experience first and then I will hopefully be able to move up to class one. I know the company that I work for uh, will put you through your class one. I think a lot of companies do that though really but they will put me through my class one if that's something that I'm interested in. I've already been told so I think get some experience and then I'll go ahead with that. Um, you asked me as well Trucker Andy about long distance work. Well at the moment, the furthest I drive is probably around 20 miles, 25 miles. I don't really drive any further than that, um, from one place to another, I mean. I mean, I drive more than that in a day, but the furthest that I go from one to another is probably about 20, 25 miles, no further than that. But the factory that I work for might be starting up a new run next week, actually, where I'll be going to North Wales twice a week. So that kind of worries me a little bit because like I say, I don't drive very far in this wagon before I stop and deliver something or click something. And the thought of driving two hours to a place, then tipping what I've got or, and then clicked in, I should say, and then driving two hours back that kind of makes me a bit nervous really because I know that to get there from here I'll need to use the M6 northbound which is at the moment between 12 and 15 that I know of is full of roadworks uh, where they have a wall either side of you and there's nowhere to stop in an emergency because they're turning it into one of those smart motorways so that kind of makes me nervous because there's not much space. I mean, I go up there in my car all the time, but it's not wide for a car, never mind a lorry. And then, yeah, that makes me a bit nervous. It also makes me nervous about losing concentration when you're going along and you're driving for a long distance. It worries me that I may kind of lose concentration a little bit, which is obviously 
when you stop, of course. But yeah, that will be a taste of distance work. So before I go to class one, I can have a little taster of whether I like this distance work, which I don't know, I think in the winter, this multi-drop works probably no good stopping and starting with snow and ice and it's freezing cold. Maybe sitting in the lorry for two hours in the warm will be better, I don't know. Two hours there, two hours back. I know that there are a couple of different ways to get there, so I'm going to be looking forward to trying the different ways there and back and seeing what suits me better. But that was the first one. So thank you Chuck and Andy for leaving me a hashtag topic to discuss in today's video. I appreciate it. A lot of you mentioned the crunching gear, but I've already talked about that. The other topic that I was left was from Num Nuts, and I'm not going to say his last name because I want this channel to be like, family friendly, but uh, Num Nuts left me the question, Google Maps or sat navs, which do I rely on more for route planning? Well, I kind of have a funny answer really because I use them both. So I wouldn't say I depend on one or the other. If I'm visiting a place that I haven't been before, then I use Google Maps to have a look at where it is and to have a look on street view. So what the factory gates look like or whatever, so I can see where I'm going. Um, and just get an idea of, could I turn the wagon round in there or would I have to reverse in? Just to get a look really of the yard before I go. And then I use my sat nav to get me there. So I kind of use both really. To get me from A to B, I use the sat nav, but to have a good look at um, the yard where I'm going, if I haven't been there before, I use Google Maps. But at the moment, I've already been to the places that I'm going, most of them, I've already been before, so I don't really use Google Maps that much now. Although I do use it for the traffic, if I know I'm coming on the motorway southbound, aside from listening to the radio, I have a look on Google Maps at the traffic to see what colour the motorway is, whether it's green or red or orange, and then have a look, well, do I want to go that way or shall I find another way? But yeah, I kind of use both really. I depend more on my sat-nav to get from A to B, but use Google Maps to scope out where I'm going first, before I go there. But actually, with that being said, I don't really need my sat-nav so much anymore because I'm getting used to where I'm delivering to and how to get from one to the other. So at the moment, I'm not relying on any of them for now, but when I start this new run next week, I'll be on Google Maps to have a look at the gates and how to get there, and then I'll be using my sat-nav to get me there. So, yeah, that's a really good question anyway. So thank you to Num Nuts. Not going to say your last name because I want my YouTube channel to be nice and friendly and family friendly. But yeah, thank you for your comment and thank you for leaving me a hashtag topic. Like I say, if you've got an idea for a topic for us to discuss in the next video, um, then the hashtag that I want you to use is hashtag trucker talk. No spaces or anything like that. And if, you, if you've got an idea, leave a comment really and, and then we can discuss it. If you're a, a trucker out there, if, if you're a HGV driver, which one do you rely on more? Google Maps or a sat-nav? Let's put that out there. What do you use? Anyway, for now, I'm going to leave you to have a look at the road and possibly the chest cam if I have enough battery and so you can see what's going on. I hope you understand what a numpty I look wearing this chest cam because I don't think they're built for women really. Us women have chesticles and uh, I don't think that they're built for chesticles but yeah anyway I'll leave you looking at the road and catch up with you a bit later.
have now unloaded everything that I had on board at the factory and now I'm off to deliver one bin to block switch and then that's it for today. I have to collect from there as well two bins that are urgent apparently. So I'm going to deliver mine and then collect those two then head back to the factory and that will be me done for the day. So I'll catch you guys a little later. Ladies and gentlemen, I am in the queue. <laughs> that went everywhere. <laughs> I am in the queue oh, to get unloaded. I collected the two bins from Block Switch, which I mentioned earlier. Now I'm just waiting to be unloaded. Then I finished for the day. Uh, I was thinking while I was out, you know, because I like to think good for you it does hurt a bit sometimes but um, I was thinking if you guys really liked this trucker talk topic of the day kind of thing then I've always been into uh, like websites and stuff so wouldn't it be cool if I set up some sort of forum or something where we could discuss these topics and stuff um, 
and just be a community really where I think sometimes it's difficult on YouTube to like chat to each other because the comments are even I can't see some of the comments and I guess that's the same for you guys unless you keep going back and checking on the same video if someone's answered I don't know maybe I'm just rambling but would you guys be interested in a forum that I could create where we could go and just people like-minded people with the same interests even if you're not a truck driver just if you like trucks if you like watching YouTube videos you know something like that just go on there and you know create some different topics talk about trucking talk about the videos talk about the other people's videos promote their stuff on there too um, and maybe talk about what's on the TV anything you know um, promote discussion promote positivity around this industry I guess I'm promoting this industry because I like my job I like coming to work you know it sounds funny but I had a couple of days off because it was my birthday yesterday and see, I couldn't wait to get back I know it sounds sad but I missed the wagon when I when I wasn't driving it I just I'm, I think I'm lucky because I know that this job I have is a good job and I know some of you out there you're in jobs where you're working crazy hours and different shifts you know and you, you might hate going to work but I don't know let me know anyway I'm gonna have this as my outro anyway because I only have to unload these two bins and then I finish so let's uh, say that this is the outro um, let me know what you think anyway should I make some sort of forum a place where we can go and share different things and all these like-minded people in the same place just have these discussions really um, in, in a kind of forum layout if you know what I mean uh, yeah as always if you like the video you can give me a thumbs up and if you want to stay tuned with me and my journeys you can subscribe to me hopefully these chess cam uh, bits of footage have turned out okay I think they'll look quite cool when they're done so hopefully they've turned out alright and if you like that kind of thing let me know and I'll I'll keep doing that I didn't get to use the head cam today but I will use that in my next video using the head cam uh, see what that's like really and yeah I'll catch you in the next video thank you for watching if you've got this far uh, looks the next one's just going in so that means it's me soon so I'm going to leave it there. I will catch you in the next one.